David, a disappointing defeat, but obviously with, with 10 men, how do you look back on that? Yeah, disappointing result. I think uh, the shift and the effort which the players uh, brought uh, this afternoon on the pitch was outstanding. Um, to stay in the game, to then, uh, as we said in half time, if we are in the game, to try to chase it in the last 10 minutes, uh, uh, they worked fantastic. Uh, obviously, that it is uh, very difficult if you play, I don't know, more than an hour under load, uh, everybody knows this, and uh, then you have to to work hard, stick together, and um, try to dig in. And this is what the what the guys have done. Un unfortunately, we always have spoken halftime as well about this uh, golden opportunity, which will come. We had it. Unfortunately, we haven't used it, and um, this is why we conceded um, a defeat, which is disappointing, or the result is disappointing. But. Uh, what you get asked to do if you play under load and how the players then have done it is it was just great. And what did you make of that that red card? Do you think it was the right decision? Yeah. So when you are on a booking and uh, then you can't ask for yellow, uh, everybody knows this. Uh, this rule is not since yesterday, and this rule exists all over the world. So this is uh, something which you which you can't do, especially not if you are booked. And uh, this is why. Uh, even if it's a harsh decision, uh, it was a correct decision and uh, there is nobody to blame uh, rather than Borja himself. He seemed to be a little bit exasperated when he when he came off. What was he saying? I think I saw him speak to Narciss. Um, I think uh, I don't like to speak any longer uh, or more about this uh, situation. Um, okay. I have to speak with him and I will do for sure, uh, but not officially and the public. And you've made those two changes at half time, obviously brought, brought Grant and, and Danny on. What was the thinking behind that? Well, I mean, I think you can see. That. Yeah, obviously, we, we said, OK, come on, uh, let's give us uh, the chance to stay in the game as long as we can. And uh, then in the last 10, 15 minutes, if we do, uh, then try to go for it uh, with set pieces or with then when they are a little bit more tired as well to really press them, even if we are under load. And uh, this was the idea we conceded quite early, unfortunately. Uh, but uh, how we then, uh, or the boys, uh, worked hard. Um, seriously, I'm, 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 I'm very proud about um, how, they, how they've uh, put the effort on the, on the pitch and how they stuck together and how with the ship which, which they put in. Um, and apart from this uh, goal, maybe after one corner, um, they had the opportunity, but uh, a lot of crosses, a lot of balls, but... Uh, I think the players defended their box and the goal is super good. Uh, and as I said, uh, you will not have massive chances in the situations, but you will get some um, often one or two golden opportunities and we haven't used them and uh, this is why we consider this a defeat. Obviously, it's difficult to talk about positives, but see Grant back in the team must have been pretty good after more than eight months out. To be fair, I don't know. I don't think it's so difficult to speak about positives. If you have yeah. seen the game today, to play under load 60 minutes and to stay in the game, to put a shift like like they have done, uh, I've seen a lot of positives yeah. today. Uh, negatives as well. Uh, don't get me wrong. And obviously individually, uh, it's a, it's a great day for Grant to be back after this very serious injury. He played much more than we thought uh, yeah. he is capable of doing. But we needed him, and uh, this was a proper centre-back game then. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, all good. I've spoken with him after the game. Uh, he feels he feels great. Looking back on it, do you think that's actually a, a positive for him that he's had so much action? In, in obviously, you said it's a centre-back game. Do you think that's good going forward that he's had so much? Yeah, of course. Uh, this are uh, exactly for a centre back uh, the situations and the games which which you which you need, uh, especially after such a long time. Now we have to see how he um, recovers or, or tolerates the workload which he got today. As, as I said, it was more than we we, we expected, but um, great to have him back and uh, great that he was able to play uh, 45 minutes under this, this difficult circumstances and. Uh, the performance which he, has, which he has put on uh, was a good one as well. And obviously that's the end of your unbeaten run. Is there any worry on your part that you lose a bit of momentum from that? No, we, we, we immediately said this in, in the dressing room. What, what hurts is the defeat and uh, obviously that the unbeaten run um, is over. And the only thing what it means is to immediately build the next unbeaten run. And this is what we like to do. Um, 
in three days' time. No Ben Gibson in the squad today. Was there any reason for that other than tactical? No, it was uh, only uh, for private reasons uh, okay. that he wasn't in the squad. Uh, um, he is fit, he is, he's okay, no problems with him. And with him outside the squad, you still had obviously Danny and Grant in there. It feels like you've now got a bit of squad depth building with some of those players coming back, doesn't it? Yeah, this was uh, the reason why we easily uh, were able to uh, give Gibbo the time to spend uh, some time with his family. Uh, yeah. As you know, he got a baby. Yeah. Um, last week and um, because we have the alternatives and this is why we easily were able to give him the opportunity and to be fair uh, it's quite difficult for the guys because on one side um, they like and they need game time but on the other side we have to make sure that they build up their fitness as well and obviously if you not get used so much at the minute because you can't get used so much uh, we have to find solutions when we can give them more workload and this would mean then uh, they maybe miss a game uh, but we can put them uh, give under much more workload than rather they travel with us and maybe only play 10 minutes or less <coughs> and this is uh, why we made decisions um, like this to give the players um, the workload which they need but to give them the chance to get their minutes which they need as well. I think you're, you're still only two points off the playoffs is it far into the season enough now that your players and you are starting to look at the table and, and target things based on that? I, I've, I've learned, I've, I really did, uh, not to look on the table in the championship. Mm. This, this confuses you, this uh, costs you energy because there are so many twists and turns and uh, we, we, we or I make sure that myself and, and, and this is what I like to prepare my players for as well, uh, only look to the next fixture. Take it game by game because you see every weekend there are results which you think, okay, how, how can this happen? Uh, the truth is, in this division, everybody is competitive. Everyone can beat everyone, and you have to make sure that your your your, your thoughts are not hide too far away in in the future or stay too long in the past as well. Take the next game, and uh, this game, for example, uh, I can put to bed yeah. tonight. Uh, done because uh, this is a game which you rarely play uh, like we've done today but how they've done it was good thanks Dave Thank you. did the red card come too early to say it costs you the game James I know where you come from on one side yes of obviously uh, it changed the game and it cost us the game but uh, on the other side it doesn't mean automatically that you are uh, without a chance so I said in halftime, is it difficult? Yes, of course, super difficult. But is it possible? Yes, it is. So then let's go for it and uh, try it uh, with a clear idea. Uh, I think you've seen what the idea was and uh, you've seen as well if we will be a little bit more lucky, um, we had the chance to take something out of this game, which obviously um, um, would be then lucky. Uh, if you take something out of this game and this is what you need uh, we had not uh, the luck today and this is why uh, I think we can't complain that it was a deserved win for, for West Brom yes of course uh, they were more than now uh, one man more but uh, everything what you have to do in a game like this when you are under load uh, the players have, have shown great uh, as I said the work ethic and the, the togetherness was great I accept that you've got to speak to to Saints um, first, but from your perspective, how do you explain two bookings and needless ones really in the space of five minutes? The only explanation which which I have on this will always count is they are humans and humans make mistakes. David, the most frustrating thing about it though was that he looked like a potential match winner. He'd scored, he came close to scoring two goals in that little period and he was looking like he was really coming into the game. Yeah, and he performed very well in the last, uh, uh, I think, three games uh, when, he, uh, when he got uh, his first starts. Um, he, he, he is a talent, uh, a young talent, which has a lot of things to learn. And if he takes the right out of this uh, situation, and I will make sure that he takes the right out of it, uh, then is another another step in his um, progression, and obviously we will support him like always. But uh, we have 
and it's my job to speak about the truth as well. Thank you. All right, thanks everybody.